तो यू थिंक यू आर गॉड गिफ्टेड और यू ट्रायल्ड हार्ड फॉर दिस रैंक डायरेक्टर कॉल्स मी एंड सेज दैट आई गॉट ए आर 1 एंड यू गॉट रैंक 56 इन मेंस वी हाउ मेनी आवर्स यू यूज्ड टू स्टडी ऑन एन एवरेज इन 11th एंड 12th सो ऑन एन एवरेज इट यूज्ड टू बी अराउंड 12 आवर्स like i have some entrepreneurship uh, mind so cuz i want to do something for the country right now i just want to contribute to science hello everyone today uh, we have a very special guest who need no introduction uh, sheshe still i would uh, request him to tell about himself little bit and like uh, when you started your je preparation what was your mains and advanced rank and uh, where you finally landed and why very briefly so hello everyone my name is shishir uh, i have secured uh, ar 56 in jee mains and ar 1 in jee advance i have been uh, like studying for jee exam since my 8th grade i am originally from bangalore and i have joined uh, the btech maths and programming uh, maths and computers program in iisc you started your preparation seriously for jee in 9th grade it was not that serious but we started it at okay. least okay you at least you started yes. studying for iit jee yes so uh, you must have answered this question 1000 times why this unconventional choice why not iit bombay why iisc bangalore so like one thing about iisc bangalore compared to iit bombay is it more people are just interested in research so that will also like uh, shape my mind towards in research and like this is the first although this is the first program the faculty are uh, really good in their fields and we have very good facility in terms of uh, compute power and any other facility which is required for our btech degree and one more thing is like uh, there are not like huge advantages between uh, iit bombay and iisc so one of factor is it me being near my home because uh, iisc is more research oriented they actively promote interdisciplinary research which we can leverage for our future so you are in a btech program mathematics and computing right yes i am in a btech program so you chose that uh, stream because of mathematics or because of computer science so uh, i chose it because i am slightly inclined to mathematics but i was like uh, at that time i might not have been like that sure that uh, going to mathematics was the right idea because it was still an early stage okay so i decided that let's play a safer bet by going to mathematics and computing so was there any resistance from your parents side or they were okay with it or it was their decision it was not their decision there was a slight resistance but finally they were like think about it properly and uh, join whatever you like we'll support you one more thing as you have said you were born and brought up in uh, bangalore was that a very major factor why you chose uh, iisc bangalore over iit bombay no that was not the major factor because uh, Although this course has, uh, was announced in January, I was still like uh, I wanted to go to IIT Bombay. But as I learned more about how the course structure is and how uh, interdisciplinary it could be, so I decided to join here after some research. Okay, one more question on this line only. Uh, you have been here for one year, right? Yes. Now, given a choice, uh, would you still prefer this, or you would like to change your choice? No, I don't have any regrets against IIT Bank. Miller okay. this is an amazing college and i want to be here okay you wanted to be here only okay then mm-hmm. next question comes whenever a student is taking mathematics he has certain some kind of perception regarding mathematics and when we study in engineering college or say bs uh, bachelor is thing, it like the mathematics is hard uh, that's what i'm asking okay. what difference you fu- found between these two mathematics what you were studying for iit je and what you are studying over here is there any difference or you found it just like so there is a difference between the mathematics we study here and which we study for iit jee okay the mathematics in iit jee is more about like solving stuff here it's like uh, trying to reason why something is true and application based mathematics generally go to the area of c- computer science so that we most of the topics of the application based anyway is covered in computer science but the more deep mathematical aspects of computer science will be covered in mathematics and it would give the foundations rather than trying to say how why this is true i mean like not why this like rather than trying to solve a question they'll be like they'll try to find the foundation for the existence of something okay so uh, your journey was smooth or you found it difficult to follow these kind of mathematics or you were kind of okay or so, rather you enjoyed it more uh, what was the case so for me i enjoy this mathematics because uh, this was a really interesting new take on mathematics which uh which i was interested maybe like 2 3 months before my je exam due to youtube videos okay. 
so i had some familiarity with it but uh, most of it was new stuff and it was very interesting to say the least because this is a new type of mathematics okay. and the only prerequisites were having logical thinking so uh, you said you get uh, you got rank of 56 in mains that was in mains 1 or mains 2 so that was in mains 2 mains 2 mains 1 mein kya hua no the mains one i got uh, 295 out of 300 okay but the paper was very simple that uh, my percentile became very low okay okay so when you got this rank 1 what kind of feeling you were were you expecting this or it was out of the blue what happened what exactly your emotions were so time? after i completed my exam i was like i would get maybe top 20 or 30 okay and as the time progressed before the result i was sure that it would be near like top 5 okay so then i was just waiting for my result and uh, around 15 minutes before the announcement of the result the director calls me and says that uh, i got ar1 and funny enough that i had to confirm that was it, was it a zonal rank or all india rank and then after he told the all india rank then uh, we like uh, thanked him and we started dancing okay okay you said you matlab uh, you started your preparation in from 9th yes uh, was that a serious preparation or just here and there you study something and then leap that day? so no our institute like actually like gave us coaching from 9th but okay. most of it like because it was a 9th and 10th we were not so serious about it okay we were just doing the institute material for that time and uh, we had for, forgotten a good amount of chemistry and physics after like because of 10th 10th board exam okay the math retained in my head okay so well, i i will ask a further question had you started your preparation in 11th what would have been your expected rank just a wild guess or what is your feeling so that would have been that would have a lot of like this has a lot of variables here because it really depends on how my attitude towards studies because when i was in 11th i had a bit of over confidence which did drop my uh, grades at the starting but i did pick up later and uh, i feel that if i had that attitude and i didn't have any j coaching then i would have been way worse off than now but if i had a good attitude i could definitely say that maybe not ar1 but i would get like top 100 200 something around that okay so uh, starting your preparation from 9th or 10th will definitely give you an edge it will give you an edge because uh, you have more time okay. but it should not like make you more over confident and your uh, humbleness should be remaining in 11th and 12th okay learning attitude should be there definitely yes okay then my next question would be what you matlab uh, you got such an amazing rank of course so you think you are god gifted or you toiled hard for this rank anybody with uh, say average iq as far as je is concerned can mm. get up to this rank or you have to have some something extra in you to get uh, to break top 10 what is so, your thinking about? i don't think you need to have something extra but uh, it would be really helpful if you are more interested in science from an early age because you thinking about it will make you better about it like that's the main thing you, maybe you study a lot but one thing you might uh, be is like you interested in it will make you study more without any more like trouble or stress so like if you are thinking about it from like 8th or 9th maybe it's even like seeing olympiads or something mm-hmm. just because you are thinking about like science and mathematics you'll feel more inclined towards it and just study more that will help you to get better ranks okay so before je you cracked any other exam like olympiad kvpy ntsc you appeared so, in any one of these examinations so i appeared in an inmo okay i had appeared in injso okay. that's all that's all then you chose only to concentrate on itj i have got the merit certificate in uh, okay. inpho and uh, inmo in 11th and 12th okay and astronomy for olympiad okay okay so uh, prepare preparation for olympiad is a distraction or it helps you in j in any sense so if you are an average student a preparation for olympiad would in general be a distraction okay but uh, if you are like aiming for like top 100 top 150 preparation for olympiad not the math olympiad because it has a very different syllabus from uh-huh. the je mathematics mm-hmm. but the physics and chemistry olympiads will definitely be a good uh, like ba- in good thing to do for uh, je preparation but if your goal should not only be only for je preparation like finally you are going to join some place so you want to explore your interest in it's not a uh, 
you preparing for Olympiad won't drop your ranks like drastically that you should not do that. Mm -hmm. You should try to like do it for some time, maybe like a month for when the Olympiad exams are there and then go to Jay again. Okay. So uh, my next question would be how many hours you used to study on an average in 11th and 12th? So on an average, it used to be around 12 hours. Around 12 hours per day. Yes. Okay. Including classes. Yes. yes. Including classes. Including classes. Okay. That's very good. Then uh, my next question would be, was there any uh, low phase of your preparation when you felt dejected or something like this? Or it was all rosy and happy <laughs> preparation? So it was not all rosy and happy. Okay. I think uh, one low phase of my preparation was in the second lockdown that was in May 2021 when uh, I realized that most of the stuff I learned in 11th, I don't remember most of them. So I had to again start uh, revising them when that was the time I had to study for two, three more hours more so that I could just revise the forgotten stuff slowly. After a period of two, three months, I became better with that. So out of PCM, what was your favorite subject at that time? So it has varied a lot. So I started out with physics. Okay. <laughs> then uh, somewhere in, I guess, uh, after May 2021, uh, after that period, it went to chemistry. Okay. And at the last 3-4 uh, months, it became maths. It became maths, okay. Yeah. And after taking uh, admission into IIC, which subject is your favorite? It's mathematics so, or is still physics or hovering? It's so like because we don't know much of physics, I'm not that interested in physics anymore. But mathematics and computer science both are uh, looking really interested to me right now. Okay. So, uh, tell me uh, a little bit about your family history. Because when somebody is going for their research field or something like this, it also it is also very important what is the family background, financial background. Because usually uh, the people who are from middle class background or lower middle class background, yeah. they have to earn just after getting a degree. So for them, it is very difficult choice to go for uh, yeah. this research field. So that also I want to know what kind of. So like not I don't think it's that bad because. Although I'm going to IIC is a research field, it's, uh, I can definitely earn money. Okay. That won't be a problem. And uh, my parents earn a decent amount of money. They are, my father is working in Times of India and my mother doesn't work. Okay. So there is no such pressure from family side. They are well off, right? No, they are well off. Okay. So what are you planning to do after completing this degree? Going for higher studies matlab, or taking some job or you have not figured out it yet? I have not figured out it yet, but the current plan is to go for higher studies. For higher studies? Yes. In the field of mathematics only or? That, that is, is not, not certain. <laughs> that is not decided yet. Okay. So what kind of uh, career you would be seeing for yourself say 10 years down the line? Hypothetical question. Uh, maybe research fellow or you have to still figure it out or? Uh, so I have not figured it out, but I want like I have some entrepreneurship uh, mind. So because I want to do something for the country. Okay. Especially in like uh, innovating new stuff rather than uh, what happens is most of the startups are just uh, spin-offs of the US companies in India so that they work for India, okay. which is necessary. But that is something which is not innovate. That's not like the information of India. Mm -hmm. So I want to do something which will belong to India. Okay. And I, that's one thing or if that doesn't work out, then I want to like pursue research in academia or for any, any company or a government agency. So for you, uh, what is motivating factor? Getting a position, something like uh, ISRO chief or something like this, or getting recognition in terms of money, say something like Elon Musk? Not like that. Mm -hmm. My thing is just right now, I just want to contribute to science. Okay. I have not thought about like any recognition or something. Mm -hmm. And I honestly, yeah, I have not thought about anything. Okay. So that part is not clear yet. Yeah. Which field you will choose. Okay. So you are studying uh, for a long time and Definitely, mm -hmm. as you said, 10 to 12 hours per day. Uh, are you bored of it or you are enjoying, is still enjoying or you feel burnout? Kabhi -kabhi aisa hota hai. What kind of feeling you are having at present? In J time or in? Uh, currently, here? currently. So here there are times when I feel burnt out, but uh, that is fine because I can just take a walk or in ISC and it's just a very pleasant environment, especially at nights or early mornings where it's very silent and the wind is very good and that will just refresh my mind.
or is yeah there are times when you doubt yourself and you be like did i make the right choice or something like am i uh, doing this correctly or something or there will be times when there are too much academic pressure or some other pressure because you are trying to do m- multiple stuff at once so there there are things as we are old enough now to handle it okay so my next question would be uh, you must be going through lots of pressure during your preparation mm. so was that pressure more or currently you are having more pressure or it is relaxed now no it's not relaxed now i would honestly say that that pressure was a little less cause okay. all that was pressure like they used to pressure me but i used to like uh, not take into that pressure because i knew that i would get a good iit seat anyways mm-hmm. the worst i could go is maybe like 500 rank and i was like that's a good and en- good enough rank all things considered so i was not that pressured even though they were they were pressuring me because they were not sure if i would get uh, top mm-hmm. 50 okay but i was not that pressured here the life is kind of uncertain because i don't know how the future is so okay. especially in this uncertain times you don't know what you are going to do so you are a bit like even for slightly small problems you feel more pressured okay so uh, do you take part in any kind of extra curricular activities or web series or gaming <laughs> or so, sports anything like i play bad from studies ha huh? i play badminton i don't uh, like do any more like uh, entertainment activities sometimes i watch a movie or just uh, scroll through youtube okay that's it that's it okay and badminton is also once in a while or no i play it daily because like physical uh, health is really important here because no one is going to take care of you here so uh, we are in the last leg of this interview uh, i would like to ask to give some tips to the students who might be very much interested in the research field mm. but due to their social pressure or parent pressure they are not able to make this choice and uh, they are pressurized to go to higher package like iit delhi as you have said package you can get from here also but what message you will try to give what kind of students can think of coming to iisc what kind of uh, say skill set you require to sustain over here So in IIC you need a passion to like sustain because most of the people here are just uh, want to do research and they are really interested into research that's why they have come here because if no one no parents are going to force you to come into research so all the people here are self motivated okay and there are a lot of job opportunities for BS and BTech students i have heard like the figures are not as good as IITs but they are uh, It, they are good enough that you can live off without your parents help and even help your parents to an extent uh this would be my la- last question as you got ai upon in advance so is there any pressure to perform for you continuously over here that you have to be in the top of the department or you are not bothered about it and so i'm actually it? not the top of the class right now okay. i my parents are not bothered they are like you are doing good it's fine okay and no one else in the depa- in, in the campus cares so it's fine Ha so you are not bothered about it there is no such pressure no i'm not bothered about it i just want to keep a good cgpa but there's no compulsion to keep be the highest okay okay so thanks a lot sir sir for your tips and i hope it would be very useful for the coming students thank you thank you sir.